Ok, stay with me here. If you gather together and weigh all the spiders in the world, you would get 250 million tons of arachnids. Wait, 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 before you run away, for comparison, the Titanic's weight was 52,000 tons, and the Great Pyramid of Giza is as heavy as 6.5 million tons. Well, you're right, that doesn't make me feel better either. But on we go. The biggest spider people know about is the South American Goliath bird eater. Yeah. This brown, furry, puppy sized arachnid usually has a foot long leg span. Its body is the size of a large fist, and its weight is more than 6 ounces. When the creature's moving, it makes bizarre, eerie sounds. They're the clicking of the spider's feet. They have hardened tips that hit the ground like a horse's hooves, just not as loud. If you see this imposing creature in the rainforest and come close to it, you might notice it rubbing its hind legs against its belly. How cute! That would be your first thought. But then, you'd scream in pain. This spider protects itself by sending out clouds of hairs that have microscopic barbs on them. If they got in your eyes and nose, they'd be super painful and itchy. These hairs would also stay there for hours, or even days. Now, that sounds extremely unsettling. But imagine what our planet would look like if spiders were the size of jeeps. The world occupied by giant arachnids is a dark and gloomy place. It's also dangerous. You can't let your guard down even for a second. Your enemy is lightning fast, hungry, and cunning. Normal sized spiders eat 880 tons of insects each year. But in your world, huge monsters need much more food to live. Spiders roam the planet, gulping down pretty much any life form they see. If people gave up and didn't fight them, Earth would turn into a lifeless barren land within a year. Up to 6% of people all over the globe have arachnophobia extreme fear of spiders. But if these creatures were that much larger, this number would be way bigger, you think? Picture a creature more than 5 feet tall with a leg span of 14 feet. The spider's covered in coarse, thick hair, which makes the animal look disgusting. Its body is divided into two parts, separated in the middle by a slim waist. A set of massive jaws, terrifyingly long and sharp fangs, and eight spherical eyes, as huge as basketballs. But the creepiest of them all? Spiders without eyes. They live in caves and other dark places. If you meet such a specimen, your reaction won't be fast enough to escape. These creatures compensate for their lack of vision by feeling vibrations. They also have an astonishing sense of smell. Terrified of spiders, people constantly invent new ways to get rid of them. Being caught by a creature several times your size is everyone's biggest nightmare. One of the scariest things about spiders is the way they deal with insects they catch. Most of these predators don't eat their prey whole. Mm -mm. At first, it gets cocooned in silk and injected with the spider's digestive fluid. It paralyzes the prey and makes its insides liquid. That's not good. Then the creature pulls everything edible into its stomach through the hairs covering its mouth and pincer-like jaws. In other words, once a monster spider gets you, there's no way to escape. Oh, and don't forget about horrifying spider webs. Who hasn't ended up with their face covered with sticky threads at least once in your life? In your new reality, though, spotting a web in time means getting a chance to survive. Even regular-sized spiders can create webs that cover trees and houses and stretch over rivers for 80 feet. That's why if a new world creature chooses your house as its new home, it's easier and safer to move out as fast as you can. People have found a way to deal with giant spider webs, but how they do it depends on which species has created it. If the web was produced by a spider that's more active at night, People destroy them with the help of UV lamps that replace sunlight. The webs made by spiders living in dry areas are afraid of liquid. Those from humid environments don't like getting dry, and so on. Another problem. One day you may come home and discover a huge monster or 50 of them living in your basement. Ok, admittedly, you're likely to spot these creatures before they reach any impressive size. They'll be too loud to go unnoticed. Spiders don't give birth to their babies. They create egg sacs that can contain hundreds of eggs. 
If such a sack somehow ends up in your home, you've got a problem on your hands. In a couple of weeks, those eggs hatch into baby spiders. After that, it can take from two weeks to one year for the babies to reach their full size. Oh, by the way, people have figured out how to use spider webs. The silk they're made of is very light. If it was a tiny regular spider, a strand of its silk long enough to circle Earth would weigh a mere 18 ounces. In a spider dozens of times larger, silk threads weigh more, but they're also much, much stronger. They can withstand extreme temperatures from minus 40 to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. People know how to collect spider silk. They use this material to make ultra-strong ropes. Almost all fabrics in the world are made from spider's threads. Wear-resistant and lightweight clothing, seat belts and parachutes, bottles and cups, surgical threads and bandages, rust-free panels on cars and boats, artificial ligaments and tendons, all thanks to spiders. But probably the best thing about silk, it's biodegradable. Earth has become a much cleaner place since people started using this material in production. Along with using spider silk threads, people also gather the glue covering the webs. It's a unique substance. It stays wet in the open air and is still sticky after having trapped several insects. Up close, this glue looks like tiny beads on a string, or rather golf-sized balls on the rope if we're talking about car-sized arachnids. They produce much stickier glue than good old regular-sized spiders. That's why, in most cases, it replaces hammers and nails. All kinds of vehicles and vessels are built with the use of spider glue. The only drawback of this sticky substance, you have to be extra careful while gathering it. Once you get trapped, it's a tricky feat to escape. That's why people go glue hunting in large groups. But even if you get into a spider web by accident, there's a chance to survive if you're fast enough. Moths and butterflies have a special layer of scales on their wings. They can shed this layer if they get caught. Use this trick, take off your clothes and run for your life. But how come spiders don't get tangled in their own webs? These arachnids can spin sticky and non-sticky silk. They avoid walking on the sticky parts of their webs. Plus, they have special movable claws on their feet. These claws grip and let go of the threads when they're moving. Also, spiders' feet are covered with thousands of hairs. When they walk, these hairs create countless points of contact between the animal and the surface. That's why you can see gigantic spiders lounging on rooftops or climbing skyscrapers. By the way, when the terrifying creatures do move, they do it at breakneck speed. The giant house spider is one of the fastest spider species in our world. It can move at a speed of almost 2 feet per second. That's more than a mile per hour. But creatures as large as a jeep can speed up to 50 plus miles per hour. In other words, you wouldn't be able to escape from them by driving away. In the giant spider world, people have to install tons of artificial lights. Dense, thick spider webs are everywhere. They appear throughout the night and cover large areas, making days dim. Trees and not so sturdy constructions often collapse under the weight of spider silk. Luckily, it's just an imaginary world. Spiders can't grow to be as large as a car. Long story short, their hormones prevent these creatures from becoming larger than they're supposed to be. Whew.